Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming and how to write con how to write documents in LaTeX. Now, before we now in the last tutorial I gave an explanation of how to what's uh, explanation of uh, what LaTeX is, who to use, who not to use and what are the necessities and all. And if you guys notice there are two two things being required, okay? One, a LaTeX compiler and uh, an editor to do all the to uh, to do all the stuff nicely so uh, if you guys are running in ubuntu okay uh, one there's, there's a simple way to install latex and the latex compiler so latex editors uh, as you through software center okay so what you do is just try go to your super button and type a super button and type uh, software uh, software center software center ubuntu software center go there and then uh, your software center should look something similar to this and then t in here type text live okay sometimes text live may not come just type this text live directly okay now what it does is that it just if you have a file like this click more info click more info okay see whether uh, see whether the files have been installed or not I mean, as of now, it looks nothing, but it has, it has been installed. I'll explain. Uh, let's do open something else. Okay, open. Uh, type an editor, something like uh, TechMaker. Okay, there are TechMaker and Tech Studio or editor. Tech, Tech Studio or no editors, dedi dedicated editors for LaTeX or any use. Open any one of them. Click more info. Okay, now what do you do when you do open that? Okay. Uh, the most important thing to do is that uh, see whether it's installed. If it's not installed, okay, you'll get this install button over here. And before you do that, okay, click on these optional add-ins and click uh, tick tick uh, select all these optional add-ins and then click install. Now, since I already have TechMaker installed, uh, this it's giving me this remove option. But if you guys guys have not installed, okay, uh, you'll get this install option over here. And just a reminder. Uh, before when you are installing for the very first time, the size you may have to download something close to 700 to 1.1 GB or some some amount of data, some amount of files, and when you install complete installing, it will uh, consume about 2 GB of data something. That's what it happened to me for my my system. You may get something like that. Okay, uh, you have to go with it, and uh, it will take you some time. So I'm not just installing it here, but that's how it goes okay and go about with that and uh, once you that is done your both your uh, both your latex compiler and your latex editor is installed simultaneously so that's that way your basic you have your, your tech compiler is ready at the same time your editor is also ready and sometimes what you do is that op if, if you want if you guys want you can go to tech studio as well because, because that's another good editor simple to that okay and then if you guys want uh, you can just install it directly here but uh, I, I mean i recommend uh, either one of these if you guys want to use both of them more than you're more than welcome no no doubt on that both of them are good the reason why i'm suggesting tech studio tech studio and tech maker are that it's because of this reason they are these are class cross platform available in windows open uh, windows linux and i guess it's available in mac as well so it's and it's very good and it has an inbuilt pdf viewer in it and uh, you guys see in next tutorial has to what to be done so you guys open the you guys install about with it and you, you guys are done with it okay now this way it's extremely simple uh, for ubuntu users or linux users to install uh, uh, tech maker tech maker and i mean uh, uh, the editor and uh, the compiler now now let's go to the windows users okay i'll just walk you guys through as to what to be done Go to uh, go open your Google browser and uh, I mean your sorry your Chrome, your Chrome or any web browser and then type uh, okay MakeTech MakeTech and it will go you should go uh, you should get a web page something like this go to this MakeTech Make dot org web page uh, come on my internet is a little slow over here okay you should load some in the page should look something similar to this and it's still loading. Hold on, yeah, your page should look something similar to this. Here, what you do, go to this downloads page, okay, 
and then what you have is that you'll have like uh, several downloads over here like recommended download other downloads and all so what I suggest you is go to this other downloads other downloads and look for uh, this basic mid tech uh, basic mid tech uh, which is a 64 bit or 32 bit now if your system if you're using a 32 bit system windows go for this 30 go for this download click this and you'll down you can download the file it's 163 something mb yeah it will uh, that's how the size is this has a basic uh, compiler with almost a bare minimum requ bare minimum requirements of all the files and all it's available here and if you guys are using 64 bit system what i recommend is that you download this and download this now if you guys download this what you'll have is that you'll have an exe file over here okay you'll have an exe file over here okay and then i'll just cancel this out because this is ubuntu i don't it won't work okay uh, and go and just go along with all the installation procedures i think it's extremely simple it's, you don't have to explain very hard about that okay and if you guys uh, have some doubts and all you can you can always take you can always type uh may take installation guide okay make tech installation guide you just go to the first link first link uh, it will help you guys as to uh, as to it will give you guys a step by step installation ah this is good this will this is good what happens is that uh, i'll just walk you guys through thank god this file was already there i thought i have to make another tutorial but this is good okay regardless of what uh, installer you choose mostly i prefer a uh, offline editor offline installer that's good the online edit the on the fly editor which we saw previously it is very small it has it's a very small size so what you do is that go to, go to that open that the double click on that exe page and click this accept button you'll just get the introduction then click next click this accept button and then click next over here and then click this option uh, we say say whether you want to install this for everybody in the computer or in your system or just only you click either one of these options as per your choice and then click next and then select your uh, direct uh, program directory where you want to install MIGTEC and then click next you can browse and pick, pick your choice as per you want and then this is a small setting but uh, it's it's not necessary by default set this to be a4 because that's what many, many people will do and if you have certain missing packet packages when you compile files just click ask me ask me first okay so whether to install or not miktek will ask you permission ask you doubt ask you permission before installing that if you click ask me first or if that if you just say uh, install on the fly when you compile it the file is missing it'll just show you an error and then it'll just show you a warning and then starts the downloading from the internet and working on with it so pick these two options a4 and ask me first and then click next and then it will it'll just get a summary page before installing and then click start okay and then what happens is that uh, e there are like uh, hundreds of packages small 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 files available in MIGTEC they'll be installing one after the other uh, the installation of each for each important package is shown by the topmost status bar i mean the progress bar on the top as the overall package overall installation is shown by this overall progress over here when both of them are complete uh, reach the end reach the rightmost end and when they become white it means that the installation is over and then you can press the next button and uh, you will get uh, you will get the page similar to this you just say the completion uh, I mean MIGTEC has been installed successfully and then click close and that's it your MIGTEC is over MIGTEC is the compi uh, LaTeX, LaTeX compiler and with this your LaTeX compiler is over and now what you have to do is that the tech, tech compiler is over okay that's the little more thing uh, if you guys want to install on the fly maybe with internet connection you can download either one of these two 32 bit this is for 32 bit system this is for 62 bit 64 bit system download either one of these and run them it will uh, automatically download all the required packages from the internet and install them okay it's, uh, these are useful for you know uh, having a basic package a basic package which you can install on in the offline but this is for uh, with the internet connection and all so pick one as per your choice but regardless the installation methods are same in both this okay with that MIGTEC is over now let's install now, uh, now let's go to tech studio uh, 
or tech maker for that matter type tech maker and uh, okay my internet is being really uh, annoying right now it's being really slow at least this is better because some time ago my internet was pathetic my internet was pathetic great okay my internet is a little down right now i'll just come back in a minute i'll just fix it up and come back in a minute all right guys i was just waiting for some time for my internet to work but unfortunately my internet is not active right now it's a little down okay i will conclude this video over here and maybe in the next tutorial we'll see how to install uh, uh how to install tech studio tech studio and tech maker either one of these two we'll install both i'll tell you guys how to install both you can install either one of them and we are good to go okay and in the next tutorial we'll see this and in the, uh, the tutorial afterwards we'll start writing our first latex program and all thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next tutorial so take care then